Hello, welcome to my review of the Audi reusable nappy. The Audi nappy is what they call a one size nappy, which I guess we would typically refer to as birth to potty sized. On the packaging, it claims that this nappy will fit from around the eight pound range. This is an all-in-one nappy. They cost just five pounds in store and there are three different prints available. Um, it does come in some plastic packaging. There's a, a plastic bag it comes with. And then this cardboard sleeve, which goes over the top of the nappy. Inside it's got some basic care instructions on how to use your nappy. It obviously did need some form of packaging because it was going to be sold in stores. But I do think they could have done away with the plastic bag and just used the, the cardboard sleeve around the nappy instead. This is the only nappy I have ever filmed for my channel without having tried it on my baby first. So the outside of the nappy is P-Well. It's actually a really nice soft P-Well. I really like it. Um, there are springy leg elastics. These seem like they would be quite gentle on your baby. And a bit of back elastic too, which also seems um, like it would offer really good containment and is quite gentle as well. It is only available with a Velcro fastening on the waist. The back was really sticky and strong, so that's great. And there are laundry tabs inside, so you simply fasten that tab shut there, which stops all your nappies sort of meshing together in a big ball whilst in the wash. There isn't any overlap on the tab, so with a lot of nappies, this would stick over onto there in order to make that waist really snug. But what they've done instead, which I've not seen on other nappies before, is add these poppers to the hips here, which you can open to get it a bit wider and then close up to get a smaller waist. There are the rise poppers along the front which adjust the length of the nappy. I do find this is, when fully opened up like this, this is a bit smaller than a lot of my other birth bodies, but it does go really small as well on the front. Normally I prefer my rise poppers to be in three columns because it helps hold the nappy's shape, but this one only has two. Poppers are also much smaller than I've seen on any other nappy, but they seem to work okay. So let's take a closer look inside the nappy. So the insert, the absorbent part of this nappy is microfiber, which is to be expected for such a low price point. Um, that's fine in itself, except for in this nappy, they've left the microfiber fully exposed here. Normally you'd expect it to be behind a stay dry layer. You shouldn't ever put microfiber directly against your baby's skin. It's really absorbent and will absorb the natural oils and moisture from your baby's skin, leaving their skin really dry. Microfiber also, although it feels soft, it's also quite rough. It's made up of little tiny micro hooks, which is why when you run your hand over it, it feels a bit pulley on your hands. So you really wouldn't want this against your baby's bottom. It's a real shame that they haven't covered this microfiber insert, and I think it's what lets the product down. That aside, we'll take a look at the rest of the nappy. So the insert is secured at the front here with a piece of Velcro. So to put it in the wash, I would unstick that from there to allow this to wash better. And it's also really going to speed up the drying time because you're separating the insert from the P-Well, which will allow the air to circulate fully. The lining of the nappy here is really, really very soft. It's a lovely fabric, actually. And it's such a shame that the insert can't be tucked behind and this be against your baby's skin because I think it would feel really nice. So because this is microfiber, that is really commonly known for compression leaks. So if you are going to use this nappy, you will need to add a natural fibre booster, probably from around the age of, let's say, four months, but all babies are different, maybe a little earlier or later. My favourite boosters um, to counteract my fibre are hemp boosters. This is an easy peasy hemp, which are my favourites. So I would normally lay this in the nappy. For a girl, I would lay it flat like that with the microfiber over the top. And then for a boy, I would fold this in half and place it towards the front of the nappy with the microfiber over the top. What this will do is as the microfiber comes under pressure, then it will squeeze the liquid, which will then be soaked up by your hemp booster here. You can also use bamboo boosters in exactly the same way. Um, another thing I do, which is quite cost effective, is to use a cotton prefold. So this is like a muslin cloth, but in multiple layers. So you can fold these into furs. This is a newborn size and they fit really well in pocket nappies or as boosters. And then again, I would lie that flat. It's probably a bit too thick to double fold at the front for a boy, 
but you could lay it flat like that under your microfiber insert and that will do exactly the same job. You can also use um, normal muslin cloths or even old funnels, cut up tea towels, anything like that. It just needs to be a natural fibre to help stop the problems caused from the compression leaks from the microfiber. The underneath of the microfiber insert has this little pocket which would be useful if you're stuffing it inside the nappy because you can pop your hand in to help you feed down. And then regardless of whether you're stuffing it inside or laying it on top with a line over the top, it can also be used to hold your inserts in place. So you can tuck a booster in the front like so and it will just keep it in place and you can still velcro it to the panel at the front here as well but then you will need to add a liner over the top of this. I wouldn't recommend using disposable liners as a way of covering this microfiber just because they a real tendency to bunch right up when they get wet and at that point you're going to expose this microfiber to your baby's skin. Now in terms of the microfiber being exposed to your baby's skin here, there are a few ways you could overcome that if you want to continue using this nappy and prevent your baby from getting sore. Firstly you could add a fleece liner. You'll need to find one that does completely cover this microfiber panel so none of the microfiber will be touching your baby anywhere. But fleece liners are a really good way of doing that. Um, as well as buying fleece liners, a lot of people make them themselves by just getting a fleece blanket and cutting up. It won't need hemming or edging or anything like that because it doesn't fray. And then you will be able to get one to cut to exactly the right size and shape of this booster. Another option would be um, to maybe make a cut here along the lining fabric and then you'll be able to stuff this insert inside the nappy. There's plenty of space here the insert actually slot inside and then this will act as a lovely stay dry layer against your baby and will be really nice and soft. The velcro panel won't irritate because it sticks to this flap of fabric here so that keeps it out of the way. So I've kept my hemp booster double folded in the front of the nappy just so you can sort of see how it would fit. Um, it's actually quite a slim fitting nappy as well and I do think with that hemp booster at the front, it will give um, pretty good absorbency actually and you should easily be able to get a couple of hours out of this. Although of course, as I said, I've not tried this on my baby because of the exposed microfiber. Although it is a microfiber insert, it's actually quite a thick insert and I do think it is quite good quality. It's just a shame it's been left exposed. So overall, I really like how affordable these are. At £5, they're a really great buy, even if you do need to add a booster and a fleece liner as well. They're accessible because they're available to be picked up at your local Audi store. The outside the nappy in itself is great. Um, it does feel like really nice materials have gone into this. It's the inside the nappy that massively lets this down. I'm really concerned about the exposed microfiber core because if you are new to cloth and you've just picked one of these up in the supermarket because you fancy giving cloth a go, you're just going to get nothing but rashes and leaks constantly. And if that's your only experience of cloth nappies, you're definitely going to say these aren't for you and completely understandably. I do wish they'd included something on the care card about needing to cover the microfiber. Or better still, I wish they just opened up a pocket slot at the back for you to stuff that insert into because the lining itself is really lovely. So overall, I'm going to have to give the Audi nappy just one star because of that exposed microfiber and the massive concerns that gives me. I really wanted to like this nappy. I really hope they just designed it a little bit better. It was so close, the materials are lovely, but I'm really struggling to endorse something that's been designed in such a way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content.